Zoop, zoop. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Colin with Rust Institute of Maintenance. Today I'm going to talk to you about what it takes to be a qualified professional AMP. So being an AMT is a huge responsibility. You have to think about all the people that fly commercially, for example, in and out of DFW every day. So you have to think about the gravity of the amount of people that are on those airplanes and the lives that are at stake. So just knowing that getting into this career, it is rewarding, challenging, and hopefully that'll give some of you a lot of purpose. I would say people skills within the AMT community are huge. You have to be able to work as a team you know, sometimes doing group projects, whether that's in school, but in the fleet, you'll be managed by someone or ultimately managing someone. So you'll need to be able to get along with others, work as a team. Some people can somehow pass the test, but if they don't have the common sense of like social cues, they're gonna mess it up. So following the regulation is not an option. It's, you need to. The FAR AIM for both the pilot side and the FAR AMT on the mechanic side are both there to keep you safe and give you a guideline of how to find something if you don't know the answer to it. So you can always look something up, but generally you don't deviate from that at all. It's more so just follow the rules. They're there to keep you safe. Some people say they're written in blood. That's why they're there, but they're there to keep you safe. And yeah. if you deviate from them, you will get your license revoked. So it's like you don't have a choice because there's the hazardous attitudes on the pilot side, which also affect the mechanics, kind of. The hazardous attitudes are, the way I remember it is Army. A is anti-authority, R is resignation, M is macho, I is impulsivity, and the other I is invulnerability. You could also have like a macho mechanic of like, I know everything, and then they screw it up, just not being mature enough to know the difference of like, hey, slow down a second, let's think about this. Let's make sure we reference the manual and the proper tools and how to do this. So being proactive is looking for things that could go wrong and that is based on experience. You'll know more as time goes on of what could go wrong and how to spot the certain things to fix ahead of time. So that's being proactive. Being reactive is, oh, those things that I chose not to fix led into a bigger problem and now I have to fix multiple things. That would be reactive. So just making sure that you know kind of what to look for ahead of time. Even if you lack the experience, ask somebody more experienced than you, hey, on this job, what is something I could look for that could go wrong? Yeah, so as a mechanic or as a pilot, that's a license to learn. So once you get your AMP certificate, you're like, hooray, I did it. You still have to know that in comparison to everything else, you know nothing, and you simply have a license to learn and humble yourself along the way. So guys, it's so important to have safety, professionalism, and integrity as an AMP because other people's lives are at stake. Again, this is Colin with Thrust Institute of Maintenance, and if you would, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. We'll see you in the next video.